All right, here we go. So, just gonna erase our board and the game plan today, we're just gonna jump into money math. So we, quick review, it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, June, J-U-N-E, and it's the 10th. I, uh, I got my summer outfit on because it is a beautiful day. Very hot outside. So I will go ahead and just write the date, just so we know. And so we kind of stick with our routine. Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. Six dash 10 dash 2020. Wednesday, Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. Six dash 10 dash 2020. So that's the date. And like I said, it is beautiful outside. It's pretty toasty and hot. Um, so I'm trying to stay cool, stay comfortable. And like I said, we're going to jump into money math. So some students enjoy Pepsi. Pepsi is about $1 at the store. So $1. And so my plan is to show the value of money and how much a Pepsi would cost. And I know this is cherry Pepsi, maybe not a particular student's favorite, but that's okay. And sometimes it's in a can. I had to go to the store and get this and it was about $1. So one Pepsi, $1. One Pepsi, $1. So I got my big, oh, I got my big change collection here. I'm gonna go ahead and find four, uh, four quarters. I know my last video I was saying I could never find a half dollar, but here's one. Here's what a half dollar looks like, but that's just a fun fact. We won't worry about that. So I'm gonna try and find four quarters here. Jeez. Oh, it's a euro. Another fun fact. Do not worry about that. That's what they use in Europe. So here we go. I found four quarters. One Pepsi. One dollar. One dollar. Four quarters. A quarter is 25 cents. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. So one dollar and four quarters. Same value, however, different forms of money. Money. Same value, different forms. Four quarters, one dollar. And that's a dollar bill. And this all relates to one Pepsi. And it depends where you get one Pepsi from, but on average, it's about $1. So that's why we are starting there. Now, I have some money already taken out, so that might be way easier. I'm grabbing some nickels and some dimes. So here's some dimes. Dimes are 10 cents. And, oh man, that weighs about 20 pounds. I'm gonna grab some dimes to show you how much, how many dimes it would take to buy one Pepsi. If I, they're all falling to the bottom because they're the smallest. All right, I think I got it. And we won't, we won't get to the pennies. Oh, whoops, money down. Oh, geez. That's all right. Gives me something to do. Cleaning it up. So 
Here's 10 dimes. 10 dimes. 10 dimes are the same value as four quarters. 10 dimes are the same value as $1. So it's the same. Different forms, different coins, different bills, but it, they're all the same. They all equal one. And with that $1, we can get one soda. Set this off to the side. Here's a nickel. A nickel. Hope you guys can see that. It's a thicker coin, not as big as a quarter, but bigger than a dime. And it would take, I'm not going to count 20 dimes because uh, I spilled everywhere and it, you know, <laughs> just uh, takes some time. But it would take 20 nickels to equal $1. So that doesn't mean just discard your nickels. It means save them. Save all your coins. And then you can buy what things you like, like soda, maybe candy if parents will let you, an awesome sandwich, hot dog, pizza. So we can use our money to buy awesome things. And at school, that's why we do work. And then we're able to spend the money that we made from work on things that we like. So... That's why it's important to work, students. That's why I push vocational skills. It's not to make you do something you don't like. It's to learn the value of money and hard work. So I'm going to go ahead and bust out my fancy whiteboard. And I will show some values. This is a dollar. One dollar. This equals this. One dollar. Four quarters. So I got four quarters. Four quarters equals one dollar. Ten dimes. I'm not going to grab them because I know they're going to fall. <laughs> Give me more work to clean up. But... With that money, we can we could, for example, buy a soda. Uh, let me show some money math flashcards here, just so we can continue to learn the values. So. This is a picture of a penny. A penny is one cent. You would need a hundred pennies to buy one soda. So you need a lot of pennies. One penny, one cent. Uh, let me find a penny. Here's what a penny looks like. And you still want to save them because they have value. But you would need a lot more to buy that soda. Penny. Penny. One cent. Here's a nickel. A nickel is five cents. We would need 20 nickels to buy that one soda. Holy smokes. We got our dime. We would need 10 dimes, the smaller coin. Here's our dime. And here's our dime. 10 dimes for one soda. And just to backtrack, Here's our nickel. Here is what a nickel looks like. Nickel. And then quarter. Quarter. Here's our quarter. And different quarters, you know, sometimes they put different states on the back, but you can always identify the quarter because we got George Washington on this side. 25 cents and four quarters will buy that soda. Four quarters. One, two, three, four. That will equal 
of soda. On average, one dollar equal our soda. So, that's why it's, like I said, it's why it's fun to work so we can spend our money and, and uh, it gives work value. It lets us buy what we want. Remember to check with a parent or guardian before just going to the store and purchasing a soda. Make sure you're making financial, good financial decisions, students. And sometimes, I don't know, for example, you might need a Band-Aid and it would be better to buy a Band-Aid than a soda. It just depends on what you got going on. So that's a quick introduction to money math. We talked about the soda and the value of our coins and dollars to the soda. Um, it's June 10th, 2020. It's a beautiful day. We got two more days of school and then we will get a break. And I will still be in touch in July for summer school. And I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the day. It's beautiful. If you're out in the sun, I just put on sunscreen. Make sure you do the same so you don't get a burn. And yes, thank you for watching. See you later. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you and goodbye.